everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys my recent silicone rooting project. You will notice as you watch the video that this doll already has existing rooting holes. So this means that this baby was already once rooted and due to some hair laws using Delta Dawn fleece mohair, I was asked to reroute this baby with a more suitable hair. So I'm replacing the Delta Dawn mohair with yearling mohair from Slumberland Nursery and the results are amazing. So stay tuned so you can see what the baby looks like with hair. The next few minutes involve up close footage of myself rooting this silicone baby. Like all of my other babies, I also root silicone dolls using a 42G needle. Um, I use this needle all the time unless I'm rooting the lashes. I have tried so many different kinds of needle and nothing works better for me than this 42G needle. I know this sounds like I'm trying to promote the needle, but I really, I am not. I have been rooting for almost six years and I promise you that in the last three years I finally found the needle that works for me and I haven't been able to switch it out for anything else. I have tried to use the 43G needle that roots a little bit, um, it takes in less hair, like, well not that it takes in less hair, but it for sure grabs one hair per hole, but it's almost impossible to grab that one hair per hole. With the 42G needle, I've noticed that I don't have that trouble every time I put the needle in the vinyl or in the silicone doll's head, the, it grabs hair. So. I love the 42G needle, it's amazing, and I just wanted to let you guys know that because I've been getting a lot of questions about the needle that I use and and I just really wanted to, to say that about the 42G needle. In some of my rooting videos, you'll you'll notice though that I use the 42G needle with a clay handle that I make myself. If you actually would like to see how I make these clay handles, go ahead and click on the link in the upper right hand corner. But um, right now in this video, I'm rooting with a needle without the clay handle. And in all honesty, it has nothing to do with what I'm rooting. It just happens to be more comfortable right now to root without the clay handle. And there are times where I feel like I need the clay handle. So it really is just up to how my fingers feel at the moment. Just in case anybody of you were wondering, well, how come she's not using the clay handle? That's why. I have also been considering making a video on how I hold the hair and how I hold the needle on each hand um, when I root. So if any of you think this will be a useful video and you guys suggest that I make this video, go ahead and tell me in the comment box below so that I can make it, definitely make it sooner than planned.
So I'm officially done rooting the hair on this silicone baby. I'm now ready to give the baby its haircut. And um, I will be fast forwarding this part just because I recently have made a hair cutting video where I go into detail and I'll put the link in the upper right hand corner so I don't want to be redundant again or make another hair cutting video so close to when I just uploaded one so um, so yeah so if you would like details on how I do the hair cutting like I said there is a link um, again I'll post it again here in the upper right hand corner um, but in the meantime, I'll let you guys enjoy or watch the haircut of this little silicone baby boy.
so we are now back to normal speed and I am done giving this baby its haircut and now I am just brushing the hair down since it stayed kind of standing up <laughs> when I was um, cutting its hair and now the next step after finally giving the baby its final brush I'm going to damp the hair with water and I'm going to style it which is something you guys are going to see and then after styling it I will let the hair air dry so once again I will go ahead and put this on fast speed since this is something that I also show in my last video that I have made um, cutting the doll's hair and um, then I will show you guys some photos since I didn't actually take footage on what the hair looks like once it has dried um, I'll show you guys photos of this silicone baby And this is what the doll looks like now that the hair has been dried and once again these are just photos of the baby I apologize that I don't have actual footage and this baby is already home with his mommy um, in Arizona so I hope she is enjoying him and I would like to say that I didn't paint this doll I don't want to take credit for anything but the hair and lashes but anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope I have shared um, a lot of new information. I always like to share new information with you guys. And if you guys would like to watch any of my doll making videos, please feel free to click on any of these four links. And again guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!